So, we are here now to look at the determination of refractive index of a glass block using real depths and a apparent depths. So, what is the procedure that can be involved in the determining the refractive index of a glass block using this idea? Remember, we, already, we had already looked at it, determining the refractive index of a glass block using optical pins. Now, what do we do here? I would first suggest maybe we first try describing it before writing something down on the determination of the refractive index of a glass block using real and apparent depths. Step number one is to get a white sheet of paper, put a cross on it, okay? Put a cross on a white sheet of paper and place it below the traveling microscope and then adjust the traveling microscope, okay? Focus it, not until you see the cross on the white sheet of paper below it, clearly. After that, take the reading from the scale of the microscope, the traveling microscope. The traveling microscope, its scale can give vertical distances. And now, after getting that reading, the vertical distance from the cross up to the microscope, now place the glass block on the traveling, I mean the glass block on the cross. After putting the block on that cross, the cross will be seen raised. So what now for you to and you also raise the traveling microscope and adjust in order until you see it again clearly. After doing that, measure that height, capture it as well. After capturing that height, what now you do is to spray some lycopodium powder, adjust the traveling microscope, okay? Adjust the traveling microscope again, not until you see the powder on top of the glass block. And then what you do is measure that height as it C. And then refractive index can be determined from C minus A out of C minus A, B. So, let's now maybe see writing as such that we can understand it better. We say number one is make a cross on a white sheet of paper, make a cross on a white sheet of paper and place it and place it below the traveling microscope. Okay? You place it below the traveling microscope. And then you can say adjust or focus Adjust the microscope Adjust Adjust the microscope Until The cross Is seen Clearly And then take the scale reading of the microscope as the a centimeters. So, when maybe the sheet of paper we have it crosses down, microscope is up, focus it up and down until you see it. Eh? You can make some adjustment eh? so that now you see, you, you now see the microscope very. I mean, you see the cross very well. And then measure and record, measure and record the distance. Eh? It will be from the scale of the microscope, that vertical distance as it A. And then having done that, place the glass block, place the glass block, place the glass block, on the cross and adjust the microscope until the cross is again 
Sini clearly. And then you take the scale reading from the microscope as a B centimeters. So what happened is after seeing the cross very well on sheet of paper, get a glass block, put it on top. What happens when you put a glass block on top of that cross? The cross will be seen raised. And then I mean I'll make an adjustment yeah, on your cross, I mean on your microscope. And then when it is now again seen clearly, take the reading as a B. And then we can now say now you can sprinkle sprinkle like compodium powder on top of the glass block and adjust the microscope until the cross, I mean, the powder is seen clearly and then take the scale reading the scale reading of the microscope as the c c centimeters and then lastly is now the refractive index okay so after sprinkling the powder powder make an adjustment until you now see it again well and then refractive index of the glass block is determined from any equal to c minus a out of c minus a b okay so that's how we shall be determining that Please, we said, you should, number one, put a cross on the paper and then bring your microscope here, okay? Your traveling microscope. If you are focused here very well, measure that distance as it. A. And now put a block here, a glass block. What happens is when you put a glass block on top of this cross, this cross will, seem, will be seen to have raised it up here, okay? Through some distance, this. Is that it? That means that it, if it has risen by that, okay, maybe X, it means to see it again. You should move this one also up by maybe say yeah, a distance also, X to see it again. Well, and then what happened is, after now making that adjustment, not this distance as in B, and then put powder on top of the glass block now. So from here now, it means that it, you are supposed to move up again by maybe see if this is Y from here up to here. That means this one should also go up by maybe a distance also Y. And measure the distance from here up to here as E as C. Is that it? So I don't forget, this one is real depth. And then this distance here is what we are calling apparent depth. So if we say if we can say that real depth is the same as it, y plus it, x, isn't it? This one plus that. So what is y plus x here? What is this distance here? It is the same as c minus a. That is real depth. And that is what we are having here as real depth. Okay? And then, what is our parent depth y? This one y here. So y here will be c minus it, b. So this is our apparent depth. So this is the method we can actually use in determining the refractive index of a glass block 
using real and apparent depths. So, using that simple knowledge that I hope you've gotten right, let's now meet in the next episode of our idea which is coming to some scenarios of refraction.